Welcome to my review of the Betaron Hyperon Click Zoom to 8 to 24 millimeters. Now, anyone who follows my channel knows that I'm 90% astrophotography, or maybe even 99% astrophotography, but I do love doing outreach and I do keep a small set of visual eyepieces. My main go to eyepiece when I'm doing visual is the 8 to 24. Hyperon. And the reason I use this, and this happens to be a Mark III, there might be a Mark IV or Mark V uh, down the road, probably an improvement, but Mark III seems to work quite well. Obviously, go for the newer one if you can. And what I like about this is that you can actually basically zoom in and zoom out, as the, the name of the eyepiece suggests. What's nice about this is that since you can zoom in and out, and it's not quite parafocal, so you will have to do some refocusing, but it is extremely useful for if you're following a target and you happen to bump the mount, especially at outreach. Kids love to come up and be like, I want to see something, boop. And you're like, there goes Jupiter. And you can basically zoom out, find it, center it again, and zoom back in. Very simple, very useful. Basically, I suggest getting these. And unlike a lot of other eyepieces, it's not that expensive. So you're not too worried if kids get their nose on it or their eyes or, you know, something happens to it. Obviously, you don't want anyone to scratch it. That would be bad. But overall, there. And it does have it where you can basically come out, which allows you to bring out the cup and the back vocal distance is far enough back that people with glass look at it. And this protects the eyepiece front lens element. Quite nice. And yes, you can push it down if you worked rough with it. But generally, if you leave it up like this during like outreach or whatnot, you can generally be confident that your optics are going to be safe. And it works quite well with the edge. Um, I've also used it with the Zenistar without obviously the field flattener. And yeah, I'm quite happy with it, and people do enjoy the views. You get a lot of wows for Saturn and Jupiter um, with a setup like this at Outreach, and if you happen to decide to want to get into doing visual, this is a nice setup for planetary, although any C8 will probably do you. I'm not a big visual person, so this is what I use. It's nice, it works. Um, I've gotten rid of several eyepieces because I don't use them anymore. So in fact, if I take two seconds here, I'll jump into my box and show you what other eyepieces I actually own. So my other main uh, eyepiece is the Televu Panoptic 24. It's quite nice for nice wide views when you're really trying to see something difficult and you're not really getting the contrast that you'd expect out of a zoom lens. This guy will get me there. If I'm looking for something a little bit smaller, and again, this isn't quite doing it, I do have also another Televu. This is an eight millimeter Plossel. So it's both extremes to this. So if I set this up and then I put this guy in on one extreme, I know where I'm looking. I know exactly what the field I'm looking at. And if I do need to, I can always pop this guy out, put this guy in and go and do that. There's another thing I wanted to show you with this lens. Now this is a two inch lens, which you can see here has a two inch adapter, but you can actually remove this and use a inch and a quarter. Although I don't really know where I put the foot for the inch in the corner right now, but there's actually an inch and a quarter foot that goes in there. And you just put that in your reducer. So you can use it with a two inch or an inch and a quarter. I just have to find that piece because I've put it somewhere, not the end of the world. It's in one of three buckets, maybe four buckets. So yeah, I highly recommend this. It gives really good views. Uh, it's really nice to use. And uh, yeah, for the cost, you basically get two lenses in one, realizing that it's not as good as these two lenses, but these are not cheap. Um, probably post the prices up here and uh, just gives you an idea of what you're getting for your value. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, give me a like. If you like ast astronomy, maybe consider subscribing. If you like astrophotography, definitely subscribe because that's mainly what this channel is about. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next video.